It's from Gauteng's Cooperative Government and uh, Traditional Affairs Department visited injured initiates at the Chris Hani Baragwanath Hospital in Soweto today. For more on this, I'm joined by Kiba Kekana, Chief Director at the department. And Kiba, thank you so much for coming through. So you went to visit injured uh, initiates. I think let's start there. How many did you visit and what is the condition of some of them? We visited three initiates. There were four. One passed on, sadly so, our condolences. And the three, uh, according to the doctors, they were generally okay, except that they suffered serious trauma. And um, there were signs of physical abuse mm. uh, from their bodies. There were serious marks indicating that they were beaten by you know, sticks or something to that effect. Sure. When we asked, the kids said when they were not taking instructions from the owner of that illegal initiation school, they were severely punished. Sure, my goodness, this is horrifying. Indeed. So when you talk about the one having passed on, is this in addition to the two uh, fatalities that we've been reporting in Gauteng? Is this a third initiate no, no, in no, the no. province? We've got only two. So this is one of the yes. two that we are talking yes, yes. about. And, and, and what were they telling you um, in addition to the issue around abuse? Where was this initiation school and how did they find themselves there? This uh, illegal illegally operated uh, initiation school uh, was in the Crown Mines area and there were four initiates um, aged between 14 and 23. The one that passed on was 23 years of, of age. The remaining three, uh, 14, 16 and 21, um, they, uh, they started you know, this initiation program since the 23rd of November. They were supposed to graduate today. Mm. the 27th and because we've got um, a, a multi-sectoral provincial monitoring team that is monitoring initiation school uh, led by Cocta subs um, this school was then uh, found I think on the 20 third and 24th of December yes so we place a lot of emphasis on <clears throat> clamping down on quote unquote illegal bogus uh, initiation schools when we mm -hmm. use those terms what exactly do we mean what makes the initiation initiation schools like the one that we are seeing on our visuals mm -hmm. there that are set alight by officials today but also mm -hmm. the one where uh, those initiates were that you visited in hospital what makes them illegal and bogus as compared to the ones that are, are above board in the first instance, the, the, there's a constitution and the municipalities, because they are you know, custodians of spaces where these initiation schools are taking place, uh, they, they have bylaws. Out of all the municipalities in Gauteng, 11 of them, it's only the city of Chobek that does not have a specific bylaws on initiation. They rely on environmental health um, uh, bylaw. Mm. And the other loophole, I think, in the whole system is the absence of an overarching law, uh, an act of parliament. Uh, at the moment, we're relying on the Children's Act, we're relying on the Criminal Procedure Act and Child Trafficking Related Acts. So in 2017, specifically in Gauteng, there's Commission for Religious uh, um, yeah. Committee, CRL. The CRL Commission. Imposed a ban uh, or suspension on initiations in Gauteng since October 2017. The first that we had is this year uh, in the winter month in June. Mm. Uh, there are quite a number of uh, uh, conditions that ought to be met. Of importance is that land must be designated by a municipality and then we've got also two very important ones is the medical screening mm. uh, and medical examination which are very important as well as prior to, prior to going to the initiation yes. school. So there are those conditions, there are about 14 of them. So those conditions, uh, there's also a database of medical professionals that must be kept. So until uh, a, a, a school principal meets those kind of conditions, uh, also a consent form if kids are between 16 and 18 years, and uh, uh, water and sanitation, yeah. 
all those kind of conditions. Quick one though, how's, cannot. how's the buy-in on those conditions? Because as you're describing them, I'm imagining that it's part of the debate that we've been hearing yes. about the desirability of more government involvement, more departments, more um, you know, infrastructure being brought Correct. and regulation around Correct. the carrying out of this right of passage. What's yeah. the buy-in among the um, uh, traditional leaders in the province? Well, in, the, in, in, in Gauteng province, uh, the buy-in is, is, is satisfactory. Hence, you know, all of these things that are happening now are happening outside of the legally permitted. We've got legally permitted schools and nothing is happening. Everything is going according to plan. It is these bogus ones because they invade land mm. that is not environmentally correct, that does not have public amenities, water and sanitation. And they do this thing, you know, under very terrible conditions. Now. What we have done uh, in, 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 in Gauteng is to set up this multi-sectoral team because the only people that are permitted to authorize or permit for an, illegal, uh, for an initiation school to take place are the two recognized traditional leaders. In Hamaskral is Chief Kekana in, the Mpumala, uh, in uh, Sokolumi, around Prongo Sprite area is Chief uh, Mashangu. So these are the only two. So anybody who would claim that they've got a certificate to run an initiation if it is not signed by these two uh, uh, recognized traditional leaders, then it's bogus. The same as the very same one that has been arrested, uh, Crown Mine Illegal mm. School. They presented a certificate and we found that it was bogus, it was not his. Yes, so it is in the hands of the police at the moment. All right. So as part of him being charged uh, with murder, They'll also be investigating the fraudulent documents that he presented. Sure, such a complex set of issues there, Mr. Indeed. Kekan. Thank you so much for coming through and giving us your insights uh, in as far as the work that you are involved with uh, in responding to this particular phenomenon in our society. That's Kiva Kekana, his chief director at the Gauteng Cooperative, Government, uh, Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs Department.